All right, so uh, this is another Patreon request, and this one comes from Cyborg19.99, who asked me to do a very interesting crossover. And as, uh, as always, if you would like to have a Patreon request done as well, just hit the link below, head on over to Patreon yourself, and if you hit the fourth tier, you can uh, send me a request for to do here on YouTube. It can be anything, within reason. And um, you guys can send me a request and also check out the exclusive content over on Patreon as well. So, as you can tell from the title, you're probably thinking, how the hell am I going to do this? G.I. Joe and Hey Arnold, or as I like to call it, Hey Joe! I just referenced a Jimi Hendrix song, in case you're wondering. You're welcome. Goddamn legend he is. Love Jimi Hendrix. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> so, yes, this is a crossover of G.I. Joe and Hey Arnold. So you're probably thinking, how the hell is this going to work? How are you going to make this work, Multi? Like, how, how are you going to make um, this story work? I'll tell you. Because G.I. Joe may be a dark... It could be, in the IDW comics, a dark war story. But remember, this is a comic... Like, this is a cartoon from the 80s that had some really hokey shit in it. So we're going to talk about some hokey shit. So, this comic, comic, this story begins in PA, PS118, and Arnold and everyone else are basically, like, having a school day. Regular school day, but they, uh, but, uh, Mr. Simmons doesn't come in. Like, Simmons doesn't come in, and instead, it's a woman named Miss O'Hare. As in Scarlet. So Miss O'Hare is ba is the new substitute teacher, and she's also brought along a lot of other people uh, who are restaffing the school, like a bunch of new ski uh, new uh, new teachers. Like you have a new gym teacher who's really roadblock. You have another um, science teacher who is mainframe. You have another teacher who is like us teaching um, chemistry, which is barbecue. You have all these got uh, um, Joes, and yeah, they're all un uh, deep undercover. And what's going on is that they are looking for something in 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 Hillwood. Like something is going wrong in Hillwood, and they're fine. And it's a Cobra connection. That Cobra connection, as we find out, because Wolfgang is going laid out at night. Um, Wolfgang and his and his and his uh, little posse of bullies are at night going out into like to rob and steal, like break into people's houses and, and bring it over to someone. One of those houses was Arthur's home. Now keep in mind, if you're wondering where this is, this is like after uh, the Jungle movie. So yeah, Arnold's home, his parents, they get stuff broken into and stolen by these like by these young kids. And it's a it's a huge spike in crime. It's like a huge spike in like youth-based crime. And Arnold, because it, one of the things that was stolen was his father's compass, which has kind of been in the, his like he kept that to remind him where he, like he always it always pointed home to his son. So Arnold like feels like he wants to you know prove himself to his father, and that's kind of the thing is that Arnold um, wants to prove he's like worth it because he's still like dealing with oh my god they're back and I don't want to lose them again and what if they like leave again to go get this thing never come back. So yeah, Arnold Gerald Helga. Uh, and a few others like Rhonda, Harold, and a few others like get together to find out what's going on. What's going on, it turns out, like what's tur what's going on is that the Dreadnoughts are more or less uh, leading a bunch of like new Cobra youth. Like they're more or less poisoning like the youth of Hillwood and trying to k get kids who like either don't like their parents or don't like you know, how authority is, or school, or whatever. They're trying to get, like, new youth into Cobra. Like, it's more or less like a Hitler youth, but for Cobra Commander. Like, that's the idea. Yes, it is a little bit like, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first movie. Thanks for asking. Because I know someone in the comments was gonna go, This sounds a lot like Ninja the Ninja Turtles movie. No shit. It's a good movie. <laughs> And I thought, it, like, yeah, it's just so perfect for, like, G.I. Joe, because Cobra Commander would try to make his own little, like, youth group. So what this is, is that, um, what's going on is that G.I. Joe caught wind of this, and not, and not liking the idea of kids being brainwashed into being, like, like, working for Cobra, they went to, they 
they knew like a lot of the activity was in the Hillwood, so they would basically keep an eye on children. Like they would keep an eye on a ch on the children and tail anyone who is kind of showing like signs of work of being like maybe working or willing to work with this Cobra group. And the person behind this, like the the dreadnoks are the like the field generals of this, but like the real person behind like leading this um, operation are Baroness and Major Blood. Um, even though Baroness is like, this is the dumbest idea he a Cobra Commander has ever come up with. Like, what the flying fuck is all of this? Like, and Major Blood's like, hey man, if this don't work, like the other reason why we get them is for human trafficking. Because yeah, for those who don't know. Major Blood's a human trafficker, <laughs> so I wanted to incorporate just a little bit of that. Like, essentially, if they're like either not good enough or don't cut make the cut, they're still useful, body wise. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a dark element there. So of course, uh, what happens is that Arnold uh, finds out, and the people who are also there, like they get found out, and they they followed um, Wolfgang and the other bullies to this little Cobra youth meeting and they're like, holy crap, it's Cobra. Like, this is insane. Like, all, all of that. And they get spotted and the, the Helga, Arnold, everyone, they just tear ass out of there. And while they're being chased, they run right into Miss O'Hare who turns out to be, yeah, it's Scarlet and also, like, Duke and all of them. And they just, like, start, uh, like, firing, like, stun bullets at them because it's, like, rubber bullets. We're not going to shoot ki shoot and kill kids. Like, <laughs> yeah, of course not. Um... So, after recovering them, Cobra is like, we're going to find out who these guys are, and we're going to kill them. We're going to kill their families. Like, we're going to wipe them all out. So now, all of them are under the protection of G.I. Joe, and um, Cobra and a lot of them are trying to find, like, all of their families, and... Yeah, they like Cobra Commander does not do things half. While well, the idea and plan itself is kind of dumb, Cobra Commander himself is not like a very half-assed. He doesn't do anything half-assed in this story. Like he goes after everyone in here, um, full force, and the Joes have to like protect them. So that's kind. Of, that's pretty much the idea in and of itself. Is that the Co is that Cobra Commander is going after their families and all of that, and the Joes are there to protect them. Um, not a lot to really like go on because it's not like G.I. Joe like Gerald throws out like I wanted to have like some fun stuff because Gerald and Roadblock I would love to have those two like hang out because they're both great storytellers and like they're the ones who talk the most smack among their respective groups so I'd love to have like Roadblock and Gerald like like hang out and be like oh man you're pretty cool kid um, I'd love to have Arnold like give uh, like give some advice or like throw out some insight to or actually, no, I would actually, what I would do is have Duke be the one to give, like, insight to Car to Arnold, because he is dealing with that whole crisis of having, losing his parents, and he's like, you know, I never knew a lot of my parents either, so, you know, I get it. So I think he would teach him, like, they're still going to care about you, they're still, they can't, you came all the way for them, they're, they're going to come all the way for you. Um, that's... That's kind of the idea I'd love to do, also have, and I'd also love to have, like, Helga being like, I want to so enlist in, in GI Joe because she like it like sees how badass like Scarlet and Chameleon and um, Lady J are, and she's like, these are my kind of girls. <laughs> anyway, so there you go, guys. Um, want to thank Cyborg nineteen ninety nine for this story. You guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of this, uh, albeit unique crossover. And like I said, if you'd like to have one, just hit the link below. Head on over to Patreon to ask for a request. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.